Hey, this is Blake Allison and Joey Chicago, and you're and you are fucked. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, this is Blake Allison and Joey Chicago. We're from Devour the Day, and you're watching Midwest Music Scene. Hey guys, this is David with Midwest Music Scene. We're here with Devour the Day. What's going on, guys? How are you? Pretty good. How are you doing? Not bad, not bad. Yeah, what's going on? I'm fantastic. You're fantastic? I feel great. What makes you fantastic? And great? Uh, well, mostly the fact that I have plans to shoot marshmallows at the crowd with my slingshot makes today pretty exciting. That's, that sounds pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah, we do it every once in a while, and I'm, we have a runner going to get marshmallows, so it's happening! <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. So, tell me about the album, Time and Pressure. It's killer. I love Good Man. I go crazy every time I listen to it. So, tell me about writing it, recording it. I mean, tell me what's what's up. Uh, we were crazy while we were writing it, and now we're not crazy. So, I understand where you're coming from. So, the next from. album's not going to be as crazy? No, it's going to be a lot more crazy. A lot more crazy? <laughs> well, as soon as we get into our writing modes, Joey and I do a lot of drugs that induce crazy states. So, um, Like cocaine and LSD? No, like Coca-Cola and pizza and Netflix. Fried chicken? Fried chicken? No, yes. Hey, that's a tough drug, man. I feel like we, we wrote about our craziness. You know, which is one level, and then now we're going to start talking about the world's craziness, uh, and there's a lot to go around, so. So, um, tell me about Good Man exactly. I mean, how did how did that come about? The song is, um, do you want the serious, the serious explanation? Whatever you want to give me, man. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever mood you're That's in, dude. That's the invite. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> There's plenty of that to go around, so let's not move too fast. Let's stick to the songs right now. Uh, the song is is a cry out for help, and there's no atheist in a foxhole. And and no matter what you believe, it seems like when people are at their lowest points, they start crying out for something. Yeah. And that song is literally just about that moment, and not not anything else. Just the the capturing of being at rock bottom and. Uh, needing help but not being able to, to get it really yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah no man I, I love that song I've loved it ever since y'all released it last year it's crazy good so tell me go back to Egypt Egypt Central how take me back to the moment when you guys knew the band was just done I mean do you remember that exact moment just thinking in your head just like man like was it tough moving past that yeah, I think for both Joey and I, it was like when we knew the band was done, done. That was we were actually we were actually <laughs> celebrating because it was it was when we were finalizing this project when we knew that group was completely over. Yeah, you know, and uh, I think that it was it was a bittersweet thing. We you know we loved that band, we loved the music that we wrote in while we were with those guys and everything. But this this group is is uh, has all of our energy is focused on it we're not worried about that anymore and, yeah and um which is great i mean which is lucky move on from that yeah lucky a lot of people can't move on from the past like that you know it's just really really good exactly. all right so what what were you feeling whenever all that happened um i don't know that's kind of like let's go back to when a family member died yeah. it's like not necessarily something that i we dwell on yeah. um yeah I but to go back to that moment we were Devastated, man. Yeah. We were uh, we had put ten years of work into something that um, was all of our convictions, our voice as kids, our hard work from a band room to major stages, and uh, if anything, it taught that anything at any time it can all be gone, it can yeah. all be done, just to, like that. Uh, and so Blake and I value our time out here. We value the time that we have with our, the rest of our band, um, and. It gives us the opportunity to appreciate this and the life that we have. Um, I think on a level maybe most artists can't, they wouldn't know because they never had to completely start over like we have. Yeah, I mean, and you guys have gotten so big. I mean, just over the past year, I mean, however, it's been really great for you guys. I mean, how's that success felt? I mean, it's got to be just great. Uh, the first half was very uh, vindicating. Uh -huh. That's like the first half of the feeling. Um, and then the other half is terrifying because now we need to follow it up and make sure that we can keep going. Uh, you know, failure is a lot easier in yeah. the end. So um, Blake and I, 
I think we have a lot to stay, a lot to say still. We do. <laughs> and we will say it very plainly and slowly so, <laughs> so we can people under can understand. So we can understand <laughs> the words that we are saying. So, um, you guys excited for your set today? It's going to be killer. Sure. Yeah, it's going to be fun. We, we've, we've been working on a pretty uh, slingshot marshmallow. We call it mellowing out. Yeah. Mellowing out? <laughs> yeah. Because we get really nervous and we don't know what to do with our hands while we're up there. But as soon as those marshmallows come out, yeah, mellow we're calm and cool. That, that makes sense. Calm and mellow. So, I think that's really all that I have for you guys. And what do you want to say to your fans? I mean, they've been great to you guys. Uh, we'd like to say thanks for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Not me. You. <laughs> wrong Thank finger. Me. Right words, wrong finger. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks so much.